Afternoon everyone and welcome to another Round of Grounds episode. So it's the magic of the cup, the FA Cup first round and I'm here in Lincoln at the LNER Stadium. Bit of a mouthful uh, to see Lincoln City versus Morecambe in the first round of the FA Cup. I absolutely love the FA Cup, it's just magical. There's always that potential of a cup upset. Plenty of non-league teams still in it, but yeah, this is the first of my double header. Uh, match day vlogs today tomorrow i'm at chesterfield v portsmouth but i've never been to to this stadium heard it's a cracking atmosphere so i thought i'd pop down to lincoln and take that in uh, looking forward to it uh, these two bit of a stat for you these two last played each other in the same round 47 years ago lincoln won on that day one nil so uh, they'll be looking to to repeat that and uh, see if they can have a little cup run as I say, it generates a lot of money for some clubs, especially the non-league guys. Um, I still absolutely love it. A lot have fallen out of love with it. Um, obviously, the big boys uh, don't uh, put a, a strong starting lineup, but yeah, I absolutely love it and still hope it has that uh, magical effect on a lot of people. But yeah, let's get round uh, the ground take in the atmosphere and see what uh, Lincoln City has to offer. If you're new round here, smash the like button for us, give us a subscribe. Let's see the first round of the FA Cup, buzzing for this one. So Gary and Chris, big Lincoln fans, how, how are you feeling going into this FA Cup tie? Uh, reasonably confident actually. All my kind of gut instincts tell me I shouldn't be confident after us getting stung last season against Chippenham. But yeah, when I get to team in the league below on good form, but yeah. maybe underlying numbers suggesting they're maybe in a slightly elevated position. It's all about us today though really. I think we, we could do with a win. A yeah. uh, bit of a confidence booster after bit of a lacklustre game on, on Tuesday so fingers crossed for a yeah. positive result and a positive performance as well. Yeah and that, that was it against Ox Oxford was it? On Tuesday yeah. Yeah yeah and in the league how do you, how do you think things are going? Obviously no manager. Yeah I think that's the big talking point isn't it we're, we're currently managerless so it's a case of just ticking over and not getting dragged into anything yeah. and Tom Shaw has come and done a really good job um, and he lost one of the four games he's been in charge so far. <laughs> Uh, most recently against Oxford, of course, on Tuesday, but prior to that, we'd, we've got a couple, couple of wins in the draw. So we kind of pulled ourselves massively away from any sort of danger at all. And he just got us looking up rather than down. So I yeah. think we're, we're okay in that regard. Yeah. But the big talking point and the big kind of question mark is ever who's going to be the next manager yeah. and then what happens after that. Yeah. And who would you guys want? Um, well, Danny Cowley's got to be top of the list. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'd say unfortunately because you know you never go back and all yeah, that sort of thing. Never go back to an ex, as But it's Danny Cowley, yeah. do you know what I mean? It's like if you'd married Kira Knightley and she'd left you, yeah. and then six months later she goes, <laughs> Do you want to go on a date? You'd go, Do you know what? Yeah, go on, because I'm with Bella Emberg. That is a so, brilliant summary. Yeah, yeah. So it's Danny Cowley. Stephen Bradley's up there because he's yeah. obviously massively successful in Ireland, and whether that could transfer over or yeah. not, we don't know. Um, and they're probably the two, you know, every time if people talk to you about, or talk to me rather, about Carl Robinson, Steve Cottrell, yeah. David Artell, Dean Holden, it's a no on all of those for me. Yeah. But yeah, I don't want somebody who's just off the treadmill. I want somebody either fresh or new, yeah. or Danny Cowley. Yeah, yeah. You, you know what you get with Danny Cowley. Yeah, That's it, yeah. Love, we, we, we get much, love with Danny We Cowley. all love Danny Cowley, yeah. yeah. The thing is, we've, we've discussed it numerous times, of course, since the manager um, got sacked a couple of weeks ago, that it's kind of heart versus head. And, and Hart will always, for almost every Lincoln City fan, will want Danny Cowley. But I think 
even kind of head says it would make sense right now as well in the current state that the club's in. Yeah. Um, but there are of course some other some other notable names. Um, you know, we've got a big Irish connection at the moment. Damien so you Duff. mentioned Stephen Bradley, uh, yeah, Damien Stephen, Duff, uh, Damien yeah. Duff as well, who's had a great season at Shelbourne, for a couple of seasons at Shelbourne. Um, and it was reported that our director of football and chief executive currently across in Ireland right now. Oh, so right, yeah, yeah you, you, you can so put two and two together and see yeah. what happens there. But. I'm not going to deny it. I want Danny Kelly back as the yeah. city manager. I can't hide it. It's weird because he's, he's, he's just, they've both just turned down the, obviously, yeah, Bradford job. Yeah. So he's coincidence. got something yeah. lined up, <laughs> hasn't he? He's for, got something in the pipeline. Reasons. Yeah, is yeah, that what he said? The point could be that he went to speak to Bradford on Monday because he knew he wasn't getting this job and he's turned right. it down for family reasons. So there's, you can make anything yeah, say yeah. one story yeah, or the other. So. Yeah, yeah. And you guys have got your own channel. Do you That's want to correct. get a little plug? We have, yeah. So yeah. we are the Stacey West. So um, I do all the written content on StaceyWest.net yeah. and then myself and Chris are on, uh, and Charlie and Ben are on the podcast and the video. I think that's all we do. We're on TikTok as well. I don't understand. Is it the EF, uh, EFL social? Though? Oh, we do yeah, the Real yeah. EFL yeah, as well. Yeah. So yeah, that's so we, the one. Yeah. yeah, so we do the Real EFL. So the Stacey West is just Lincoln City. The yeah. Real EFL is all EFL. Yeah, yeah. Um, and again, that's uh, Chris is on the podcast. Yeah. We've got a great team of writers do the um, do the actual Real EFL. And what yeah. we try and do is we promote young and up and coming writers, and we yeah. ensure that every writer who writes for us gets paid something for their troubles yeah. as well. Yeah. Being a one-time struggling young writer myself. Yeah, yeah. And on the FA Cup, so obviously you're expecting a lower crowd. You've, you've touched off camera that obviously you've got games coming up. Do you think it's lost the magic? Not at all. No. No. I love I'm glad you've FA said Cup. that. Cause... I absolutely love the FA Cup. I watched the Sheppey and um, Warsaw game yeah. last night. Uh, of course, obviously it's Warsaw won, but they got scared for a few minutes. In the, yeah, in the first yeah. Off. Obviously Horsham uh, drawing 3-3 at, at uh, Barnsley. It's magic. The FA yeah. Cup is magic. And, no, Lincoln City wouldn't be where we are right now without our magical run in um, in the late noughties, so uh, in just 2017, sorry. So, yeah, we non only non first non league club in 100 years to get to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. Like Lincoln City and the FA Cup yeah. are kind of synonymous with each other. So yeah, we we all love it. It's magic, but it's the first round, and I think just circumstance and weather probably, to be honest, has yeah. an impact. Might have an impact on the gate today, but if we can get through today, no doubt that the, the, the fans will kind of come back and hopefully we can go and. Dare, a bit I, of a run. Yeah, dare yeah. I also say that the club have taken it seriously as well, having looked at the team. Yeah. It's a fairly strong team. I respect that. Yeah. I don't mind you fielding a weakened team in the League Cup, the EFL Trophy, whoever you are. But if you're a League 1 or a League 2 team and you put a weakened team out in the FA Cup first round, you're doing football a disservice. Yeah. Even if you're Portsmouth or, or Charlton, they're playing what looks like a firm of solicitors tomorrow, Clay Valley something. They sound like a, they've produced chickens. I agree. But at the end of the day, if they put produced a weakened team chickens, out, that's, yeah, that's yeah. disrespectful. So. I totally agree, yeah. And especially with it being on a Saturday, it's not a midweek game, so there's no no real excuse to do it, is there? Yeah, well, I, think, I think a point to make is the fact that, yeah, we're playing against a team in the league below, but we only played them in April, and they beat us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so. Finest cup competition in the world. It's it the is. oldest cup competition yeah. in the world. It doesn't always mean a lot to fans these days. Yeah. It doesn't mean a lot to Premier League and Championship fans. Yeah. But the FA Cup is still the one cup competition that I take yeah. as seriously as the league. Yeah. And lastly, let's get a score prediction from you both today. Oh. <laughs> the dreaded score I don't, I don't think it's going to be a simple a simple outcome, but I'm going to go with a 2-0 two, a two two victory. Yep. I think 2-1 Lincoln. I think we'll do it. Lovely. Give these guys a follow. I'll drop your uh, channel in the description. It's a pleasure to talk to you. And great to meet you. Thanks for that. So we're three Morecambe fans. What's your name? Tom. Paddy. Dave. How do you think the season's going? The season's going very well. Yeah. Very well, progressing well. Um, yeah, looking really promising. The squad's coming together really well. Yeah, your slow start. Did you have a slow start? You picked um, up a late? You say slow start, but it was a new squad. We yeah. started off with, I think it was about five contracted players. Yeah. So it's obviously going to take time if you're yeah. starting a new squad, new league, yeah. essentially. So it just takes time. Yeah, like and anything. League two was a tough league this year, and it was some. Uh, tough... <laughs> yes, and He's no. I've actually, yeah. no. No, I've actually found it. Surprise! Like yeah. without sounding funny, I just haven't. It doesn't feel as tough as when we were last in it. Right. Yeah, and yeah. having been in League One, you really do notice the difference between League One and League Two. Like yeah. there's some teams that I thought were going to be better than they were. Yeah, and actually, yeah. we're quite comfortable against yeah. them at times. So quite yeah. surprised in a good way. Yeah. And what about yourself? You enjoying supporting uh, Morecambe? Yeah, I am fans of Morecambe. I am from Peru. I am fan of Morecambe. Yeah. My heart is Morecambe now. Yeah, and yeah. I hope that today Morecambe. Win. And go on a little cup run. <laughs> what about yourself, buddy? I'm just here supporting these two. Right, yeah, yeah. So you're neutral here today, yeah? No, no, no. I'm always in favour of uh, Morecambe. Uh, yeah. Morecambe. Yeah. 
but uh, I'm not the world's biggest fan, shall yeah. we say. And obviously, <laughs> Cup today, how do you think uh, you'll fare? Do you, do you, do you ah, fancy a Cup run? Yeah, definitely. It's good for us. Um, club like us, budget's always challenging, so... Yeah. Um, I must admit, when the draw came out, like the fans weren't particularly excited. Yeah, yeah. Like it's a ground we've been to recently. Last season we were playing them as a league, but you've just got to play what's in front of That's you. And it. actually, you never know what can materialise by winning a couple of games this cup, yeah, and all yeah. of a sudden yeah. it can become quite exciting. So I, I want to win the tie, whether it be here or, or a replay. So yeah. I'm, I'd love to have a good cup run. Yeah, and I'm just more excited. Just asked a couple of Lincoln fans. Do you think the FA Cup has still got its magic, or do you think it's slightly? I think there's I think there's definitely been some challenges to it. Like I'm a bit traditionalist. Like I for example I would never have moved a cup final from three on a Saturday. Oh, yeah. I've grown up where, you know, all the build up through yeah, the you know, it's really exciting yeah. when you know, semi finals at Wembley stick things like that. Talk about getting rid of replays, things like that, just those are what have made yeah, yeah. football really special. Like yeah. you see last night, um who was it that drew with Barnsley? Yeah, awesome. Is it awesome? Yeah, yeah. phenomenal. So yeah. they've got a re- um yeah. A replay and that's massive for them yeah. that can really fund a non-league exactly. club and i just think you've got to think about the grassroots yeah. and the clubs this, i think england is a really unique there's no other country no. in the world that has the levels the tiers that go down yeah. and the professionalism when you really go down and how seriously you take it and a cup run for a club like that or a club like morecambe or lincoln yeah. can make a massive difference exactly. to us so yeah i guess there's some challenges but i guess it's evolving but for there's a reason why we've yeah. travelled um, this far to see the beautiful city of Lincoln, but also to try and win the game today. We're yeah. desperate. It means a lot to us. Yeah. Lastly, we'll get a score prediction yeah. from you. I'm going to go one all. Take one all, back yeah. to the Mazuma. Yeah. Fancy a little cheeky replay. Yeah, <laughs> I do. Uh, we're, we're difficult to beat at home. Yeah. Um, so I fancy a draw today. Yeah. What about yourself? Prediction today? Uh, my prediction is one zero. One zero. Yes. Come yeah. dreams. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Love it. What about you? I know nothing. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, nothing. <laughs> and you've got a Twitter? Have you... uh, my Twitter is Shrimps Online. Yeah. Um, but I'd like to say congratulations to the channel. Great to see the oh, work you're doing. Thank you very much. Lovely to see like the channel exploding. Yeah. Lovely to meet you in person. And I look forward to just uh, it continuing to explode because yeah, it's the type absolutely. of content that fans love to see. Yeah. So and I'll be in Morecambe soon as well. It's yeah, on my well, list to do. Yes, we'll, it is we'll make on... you feel very welcome. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah, nice one. I'll uh, stick your Twitter in uh, descriptions. Nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you, Lee. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
So finally back home uh, after getting uh, absolutely soaked today at the football, but wouldn't change it for the world. Absolutely love getting out on a Saturday afternoon and uh, doing my little match day vlogs. Uh, enjoyed my first trip to, to the LNER Stadium. Uh, I thought Lincoln fans, uh, especially near me, were absolutely brilliant. This little standing section that they've got in there now is uh, brilliant. Um, good atmosphere, they were singing throughout the game, even when they were losing. Um, really got behind the side. Obviously, cup tie uh, was a dip in the attendance, but I've heard league games, the, the atmosphere is even better. So I'm sure to, to be back and, uh, and covering a league game. But yeah, we're impressed with the Lincoln fans. Um, good atmosphere. Um, credit to also just to the Morecambe fans that travelled. Not sure how many was in their their way end, but um, yeah, good following um, for the for the cup. Love to see it. If anyone could put in the comments how many of you were in there, uh, be a massive help. But uh, yeah, more can go into this to the second round draw uh, with a two one win. Uh, Lincoln fans, I think, will be frustrated. I thought at times they could have been a bit more positive on the ball. They seem to go back at times where they could could have um, tried to work more, come a little bit more, and the fans were getting quite frustrated. Obviously, it's tough. You've not got a manager, um, so, so it's, it's, it's going to be tough, but hopefully you can get that manager in, installed and you can kick on in the league because you've got a decent little out, outfit, good team. Uh, you try to move the ball um, round, round the pitch quite well at times, just need to be a bit more direct uh, also at times. Uh, Morecambe, I was impressed with you, especially uh, showed character um, after going 1-0 uh, down to, to come back and win. Obviously the goal before half time is massive for you and then you go and get the, the second to, to prove that it's, it's the winner. Um, but yeah, I was impressed with you. Uh, the lad on the, the wing, number seven, not sure of his name, um, caused Lincoln some prop problems popping up at the back post at times and uh, he looked looked to fret but yeah more come I think they could be in, in the mix definitely uh, but yeah enjoying my first trip like I said to LNER Stadium great to, to, to just take in a game even though the weather conditions were a bit poor but uh, yeah love love the FA Cup back out tomorrow Chesterfield v uh, Portsmouth potential upset there on the cards but both flying high in their leagues so looking forward to that one um, little uh, little message from uh, the fan hub uh, I'm involved I'm getting um, my fan hub fives I do every week I predicted the five today got four of them right I went for a little cup upset for Oldham beating Newport but it failed and that's what let me down um, so yeah I've got a decent score to be fair I think I've unlocked a mystery pack but yeah you can get involved I'm going to put put up um, my predictions now for, for tomorrow so jump on if you've not got the app I've got a little golden ticket for you which I'm going to overlay right now jump in, get involved you can challenge me in the little mini league see how you get on they do the predictions every week and it's fantastic you can also predict your starting lineup. so yeah jump on, get involved and give me a challenge to see how you get on. We've got a little mini league going. But yeah, if you enjoyed this uh, content, smash that like button for us. Give us a subscribe and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Chesterfield v Pompey. See you later, everyone.